Hello and welcome back, Kairos25 here, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM 2 Episode 4. We're gonna jump right in. I'm gonna go and grab those supplies right away. I'm gonna go right ahead and start building the proving ground. Required for a lot of the tech that actually does advance the game's plot. I'm gonna need to build a power hood, something to generate power next. It's a little annoying that both of my exposed power coils are all the way down here. You gain a massive boost of the amount of power generated if you do build a power on one of those coils. But anyway, what can you do? Back to scanning. And there we go, our first subscriber character. I train him up as a ranger per request. I guess he wanted to be the Red Ranger, lol. Kind of a lame joke, I know. But anyway. Straight back to the world map. I do not think I could have predicted this outcome, though it is intriguing. I'm gonna go and get this lockbox opened. I assumed you'd make that research a priority, Commander. I'll notify you as soon as the report is available. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the world. Once we've collected sufficient intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. I have made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. And this time it's a race out of armor. Yes, Commander. Interesting. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Yeah, I can adjust the loadout. Let's see what this armor does. Ooh. Decreases damage taken by the alien plasma weapons by 30%. That will be really, really useful on my ranger. Also upgrade his weapon. Also running another mod which lets you put free we weapon mods on every weapon. Beneath the looming statue of an elder, we noticed an overgrown security checkpoint placed at the intersection of two roads. After further inspection, the corpse of an advent security officer was discovered slumped over the small desk inside. Our engineers swept beside and recovered a number of useful system components. 62 supplies. I'm going to go and start making contact in the eastern US. Well, I'm fairly sure that most of that land up there is Canada, not the US. Attempting to establish nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification. Massive signal coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens, for 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved. Multiple Crum radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today, you've got incoming on approach. 
How didn't she hear that? Or that. Well, that's going to be fun to deal with. Setting course for the Western U.S. Precinct. I'm going to change up the squad. going to give our specialist gotta make it first a med kit just in case oops there we go and again <laughs> sorry about that Anyway, let's get this mission launched. These missions re basically replaced the Terra missions from the first game. That was a quick little intro this time. So did we. You won't have a concealed position for deployment on this one. And we need to rescue at least six civilians. It's not that hard to do, even though the AI for the civilians does behave like a deer according to headlights. Okay, I'm gonna have everybody start to move up. Nothing too hastily, I don't wanna walk right into an ambush. Go to Overwatch. Well, the one good thing about that is at least you know roughly where the enemies are. It also quite often gives you a clue as to what type of enemy you're going to be facing in that particular spawn, as well as how spread out the spawns are from the different areas of the map that it'll often cut to to show that little scene. Ooh, that was kind of brutal. Kill. Kill them all. Ooh, that's never good. Prioritize taking out that sectoid. That was 
we damage. We can safely have her take a shot because she's got the stock. No longer a threat. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, it's loaded there for a moment, Miguel. I don't think Tulio would be all that happy with me if he got killed. And for anybody who doesn't get that reference, please go and watch the Road to El Dorado. Yeah, funny that none of them have weapons, but... Probably taking a bit longer here than I should. And there we go. Ooh, that was a good shot from this range. Sectoids. Another miss. This is going really well. <laughs> Ironically enough, when he ran by there, he actually saved that civilian. That would have got—they definitely would have got killed by that explosion. I do hate when the camera does that. Taken care of. Solid copy. Got it. The resistance has done everything it can to convince people to join the cause, but 
It's an uphill battle when you've got Advent whispering propaganda in your ear 24 hours a day. Let's go! Move out! There we go, I'll finally be able to take out that new group. Hmm. <laughs> this should work well. Get how ugly those things look. We've heard rumors about some kind of shapeshifters. I'm guessing this is it. It is a remarkable species. If only we had some means of containment. Don't even think about it. Yeah, I do not want one of these things being brought back on board. Definitely do not have the firepower to drop that this turn. Tech guys will love this. Ooh. That's all you're gonna do, you're not gonna even bother to attack. It's kind of rude. But I'll take it. No longer a threat. Menace one five, status confirmed. We're not picking up any additional contacts. The AO is clear. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Pretty happy with how smoothly these have been going actually. <laughs> I could have saved a few more civilians, but I'll take not having any of my troops injured over that any day. I'm going to have her go down the battle medic tray. Just going over what I got. Ooh, two scopes, a hair trigger, one advent lockbox, laser sight, armor mod. Yeah, I definitely do not like those things. Considering the limited resources available to you, Commander, you have still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work.
Definitely grab that after I finish making contact. For Eastern United States. I'm gonna continue this on until coming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. After I get the supply drop. I had high hopes of resistance under your leadership, Commander, and you have outdone yourself. There we go. Hmm. Dark event. You do get to stop one of them. Hmm. I definitely do not like vigilance. The other big change that they've made is you do also have to pick up your supply drops off the map and it takes three days to go to grab them all. So I'm gonna go straight ahead and do that. I am sure you will find the results to be as intriguing as I do. And I'll decrypt another lockbox. I'll contact you when I have a full report of it. Commander, we can now construct radio relays in any Ooh. region where we've made contact with the local resistance. Commander, you should establish contact with the local resistance network as soon as possible. The aliens are undoubtedly moving forward with their plans. The outcome of this research can only further our advances, Commander. I do hate it when a whole bunch of those stack up. Um, never ever, I'm a barbarian. Greetings, Commander. That is interesting. Knowing that my past surgical experience is limited, I am sure the crew appreciates that I hone my skills on fallen advent forces before triaging our own wounded. To the uninitiated, the common advent trooper is seemingly human. The aliens have disguised this most glaring divergence from the human form with a carefully designed helmet. Well, at least he's got something to practice on. Dr. Shen's constant vigil over my activities is starting to wear thin. I consider myself a patient man, but eventually she's going to have to trust me if we're going to achieve our goals. Anyway, I'm going to put in the cut here. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy them. Thank you for watching and... I'll see you all in the next episode. Stop her research.